check in with our Maggie Kent live at Westchester University. Maggie. Oh, this was so phenomenal. We did get a break in the clouds for a few moments, and that when that's when the cheers really started to rile up here. People excited to see this partial solar eclipse. A collective cheer as the view of the solar eclipse peeks through the clouds. If you take a look through specialized glasses, a telescope, or special projector, you'll notice. Oh, uh the moon and the sun all lined up together and that's how, how the um, sun turned dark. At Westchester University, hundreds fanned out onto the lawn in South Campus to gather together and look into the sky. It's definitely it's good to see this unification of the campus, so this is awesome. I could see the moon there beginning to block the sun from the bottom and a little black spot in the sun. Paul Rabe says at 11, he witnessed his first solar eclipse in 1965. I just loved looking up at the sky. I love stars, I love meteors, just as far back as I can remember. And now that excitement has spread to the next generation. The sun is like almost, it's like you can't really see it, but it's there. It's hiding behind the moon. Yeah. Now we have to hang on to these for the next 20 years, Brian. Inside our drunk drawer they go until the next one. But honestly, it was such an awesome opportunity to hear all the cheers, the collective moment, just everybody coming together to look up into the sky and experience this solar eclipse. We are live at Westchester University. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News.